on the sidebar, uh, first of all, there is the course outline uh, describing briefly what sort of course astronomy 1PO2 is, uh, the text that is recommended for the course. Uh, here is the list of uh, topics that we will be covering. In this term, we'll start off uh, uh, talking about how the stars form and how they involve, evolve. We'll talk about their lifetimes. So it's in chapter 14 from your textbook. Then once the stars expire, they leave different objects behind. Uh, a star like our sun, which is sort of a medium-sized star, will uh, leave, uh, once it uses up all of its fuel, a white dwarf behind. Uh, more massive stars, they uh, uh, die a violent death in type 2 supernova explosion and uh, they leave behind either a neutron star or a black hole depending on how big the mass of the uh, uh, collapsed core is. Then we'll, we'll switch and we'll talk about our own galaxy, the disk of stars in which we live. Uh, and uh, then we'll take up uh, galaxies in general, see what kinds of galaxies are out there look at some of their properties and classification. Then we'll spend a little bit of time on a topic that is actually of great interest to me on cosmology, which is the theory of how the universe came about and how it uh, evolved. And scientific cosmology, unlike the cosmologies of popular cultures, uh, is based on scientific evidence. I mean, people throughout the millennia always wondered uh, where we came from, how things came about, and uh, usually they projected events from their own life on uh, the world around them. Uh, but in scientific cosmology, we do something very different. We look at, uh, we use observations and hard scientific uh, facts to come up with a plausible story as to how the universe began and how it evolved uh, up until now and what its likely future is going to be. Uh, then we'll switch gears completely and spend the rest of the term on our own neighborhood, on the solar system, uh, meaning uh, we discussed in um, 1P01 our star, the sun, so we'll spend time discussing different uh, bodies revolving around the sun, including us and the moon, then these so-called terrestrial planets, which are, the, the, the name suggests that they are Earth-like. Terra in Latin is Earth, so terrestrial planets uh, stands for Earth-like planets, uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Then we'll discuss the outer uh, planets, the giants. Uh, they are much larger in size uh, compared to terrestrial planets and have different physical properties. Uh, and then we will talk about smaller bodies orbiting around the sun, including asteroids, comets, um, and uh, uh, meteors.